let's start from a macro level first. In the United States right now, we have solid GD GDP growth. Uh, for the last quarter, it was roughly 5%, which is very strong. We think that GDP growth could settle in long term to around a 3% range. So we're very optimistic about that, and it's a very positive force in terms of the growth of the United States. Similarly, job growth is showing uh, around 250,000 jobs added per month right now. So again, very, very positive. One of the things that causes us, causes us a little bit of concern is that real wage growth, which is nominal wage growth adjusted for inflation, is still lagging and is not up to long-term trends. And I believe because of that, the U.S. Central Bank will be fairly cautious with interest rate moves until we see that begin to re recover. So the global investment markets are really seeing the same data that we are in terms of a longer term sustainable growth trajectory for the United States. And so as a result of that, we're seeing a tremendous amount of interest in the U.S. Of course, there's, there's capital really flowing all over the world right now looking for real estate opportunities, and, and the United States is certainly a prime target for that. Key markets in the United States would be New York, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, but then also I would include Boston, Seattle, Los Angeles, and then, then there are a few other outliers, including even markets such as Dallas that are interesting right now, Atlanta showing some signs of recovery and the like. The United States um, is a very transparent market. The United States has again demonstrated that at least at this point in the economic cycle, it is a front runner in terms of recovery. So capital really likes that transparency um, and again the economic strength of the market. Uh, it's a very visible market. Um, it's a very liquid market in that it's easy to transact, it's easy to exit. You know, certainly some of the challenges with the United States for foreign capital has always been uh, taxation. Um, through capital gains and through foreign investment and the Foreign Investment and Real Property Tax Act. Uh, there are ways that we help um, advise our clients to, to mitigate those, those risks. Um, but but um, the United States remains, a, again, a very, a very viable option. And in today's market, really, it's, it's a global market, not so much whether it's an Asian market, a European or a U.S. market. We see capital moving globally to diversify, um, and to enhance their opportunity for return in relation to risk. I don't see interest rates um, affecting the market at all. There's certainly been a lot of talk about interest rate movements here recently, but I just, I just don't see it, in, um, it really materially affecting our market for, for several reasons. One is I believe the Fed will be extremely cautious about interest rate moves here for, for quite some time. While I wouldn't be surprised to see a rate move this year more just to show that they can, I just don't see much more than that. And as a matter of fact, if you look at the futures market, which is the trade of interest rates around the globe um, for the U.S. Treasury, right now the U.S. Treasury is about 2%. The one-year forward trade is about 2.3%. And the two-year forward trade is about 2.5%. So that's suggesting that the market is not really thinking that interest rates are going to move very much at all. Until I think our U.S. Central Bank really sees a material move in real wage growth, I think they're going to be very cautious. And as a matter of fact, we're even seeing some signs that we're going to have some little bit of, of growth stagnating. So until we really uh, see all of those factors um, begin to improve, I think that the Federal Reserve will be very cautious. All of that being said, there's a lot of positives going on right now, too. And again, as I mentioned, G GDP growth and, and wage growth. So we're, we're forming the, the fundamentals for a long-term recovery here. And again, all of those things bode well for commercial real estate in the United States.